Hello, good day everyone. Today we are going to show you a knowledge is everything JBoss, uh, JBPM and Jules example. In particular, it's mortgage loan application. My name is Sam Gu. I'm a lecturer in National University of Singapore Institute of System Science. So today we'll be using this uh, ISS VM. Okay, now I'm starting this ISS VM from VirtualBox. Okay, let's start this VM. Okay, in the meantime, we are waiting for the VM to start. We can go to the, the course material, the workshop material. How do you find, locate this workshop material? Key. King Sam Gu GitHub. Yeah, Sam Gu GitHub. So the second one is my ID telescope user. We go to telescope user, we look for repository. Here, repository. We key in SMR. Okay, this is the one I will be using today. So here is you can clone. It. So we click this button. This button means copy, copy, copy. Means Control C. Okay. So while our VM is now started, let's put it into full screen. Full screen. Control F. Yeah. Right. Control F. So now we are in a full screen mode. So the first thing we will need to do is to start this KIE server. So it will take a while, a few minutes. So while we're waiting for the server to start, we should clone, download the workshop material. So how do we do that? We open a file explorer here. So we create a folder in download. Yeah, we can create a folder here in download. So we right click, open in terminal. Right click, open in terminal. Now you can see we are at this place. So we use PWD to find out which directory we are in. We are in home slash ISS user download. So this is a username. Okay, how to write this code is download is git clone, C L O N E space shift insert, shift insert, ah, in. Ubuntu system, shift insert means control V. Uh, control insert means control C. Copy and paste. So we are paste what we have copied just now. So start to clone it. Okay, you will see it's pretty fast. It's already done. So we can close this. Exit. Okay, we click choose this one and we press the right arrow to expand it. So you see the product code has already been downloaded here in the mortgage process uh, MR. It's actually here in the zip file. So we unzip this zip file. Drag it here. Drag it here. So it will unzip. So it should be done. So let's have a look. Yes, everything is now inside here. We have the source code, we have main, a Java objects, resources.com, MySpace. Yeah, these are some of the objects that we'll be using. So let's have a look if the KIE has finished or not. Uh, seems it's uh, still running, but don't. Don't worry, you can give, give it some more time. So we'll open a web browser. We'll open a web browser. We we'll go to this KIE workbench. If you do not have this shortcut, you can simply key in this localhost A0A0 A0, JPM console. This one is actually not necessary. So the server is still starting because it's saying that waiting for localhost. 
So the server hasn't been fully started. No, still need to wait for a while. Okay, while we are waiting, we'll have a look at the structures. have some resources yeah it's already starting so we have resources resources what do we have exactly we have my space mortgage app and a few familiar things forms yeah mortgage decision table guided decision table guided rule so this is a new thing and a few more Okay, so it started successfully. Let's go back, switch to the KIE workbench. So we'll use the ISS admin as logon ID. The password the same, ISS dash admin. Okay, we sign in. Okay, good. We are ISS admin. First thing is we need to import the mortgage loan with machine reasoning capability. If you encounter this warning, let's ignore it. So we click space. Here is by default, there is one MySpace. Let's add a space. I call it ISS M machine reason. So we select those people who can access. Okay, save it. Okay, now we have this ISS MR space. So here we click it, we import project. Import, where is this our project? Okay, we need to look for where we download it. So where we download it? We're downloading project IO. This is all. You can click Double click, right click, open in terminal. So here is a trick to quickly find the location, PWD. Okay, so this is the path. Copy, copy. So the repository URL here is actually file. You need to king file, column, slash, slash, shift, insert. So this is the link. The entire thing that you need to key you get this link from the terminal from this terminal and you add on this file thing then we control a copy it then we put it here control v now here you can use copy and uh, control c and control v know that there is a file column slash slash here huh? and, not, and the local repository so we are importing it Import. Okay, so we are actually in the import projects page. The KIE workbench automatically detects that there is one project in this local folder, local folder in our download folder. So it started to import. Import successfully. Okay, we see all these objects there, object there. We can have a quick look at the business process. Yeah, the business process. So you can see we have this is our revised uh, business process. We have machine mortgage machine reasoning. We have final approval. Click this button to see. Implementation and the final approval require ISS Group Manager. The mortgage machine reasoning links to this root flow group called mortgage machine reasoning root flow group, and it has 
the data input to it, which is the application object. So this is a data object we defined earlier. Okay. We can also have a look at the guided rule, the new guided rule. Guided, guided decision table is here, guided rule here. So this is a new one, mortgage machine reason. As you can see, these are the condition, then this is then part, so that take the action, show options, rule flow group, it matches to the task in the business process. You can click at the source part, so this is the source, the Java code, which is uh, automatically synced and generated by this GUI based uh, uh, editing tool. So next, compile and deploy. In order to use it, we go here and we deploy. Let's click deploy. Building, then deploy. Build successful, deploy to server. Okay, that's great. So since we are ISS main, we will be able to see the execution servers. So what are those? Uh, Deployment unit has been deployed. Okay, we can see this ISSMR has been deployed, and this mortgage process is by default a default uh, deployment. So we are interested in this ISSMR. So it's already there. So next is next is we need to log in as a requester. So we log out this powerful user. This is me. Now it's time for Sam to get onto the stage. Okay, ISS Sam, yeah, that's me. Time to start the long origination, home long origination application. Okay, cool. So as you can see, I am a normal user. I cannot see the servers. So I go to this project instance to initialize to start a new loan origination, new process instance. So here is a drop down. You can see there's actually two different business process. One is mortgage approval. One another is mortgage approval process with machine reason so this is a ssmr is a recent deployment so we pick up this one so we click start so as you can see we see this new form you know, form there so let me maximize the screen okay we'll start the application down payment five fifty thousand year of amortization 20 years Sam Sandy Chain Forever 21 Credit rating, perfect rating. Do I have a job? Yeah, I think so. Own a house? No. Poor man. Uh any income. Let's give it artificial number one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. SNN, leave it. Age of property. It's very new property. Address of the property, 25 uh, ABC Road, Singapore. Yeah, 110110. One, okay, let's say code. Postcode, locality, urban. Sales price, 550,000. Yeah, looks cool. So why not we do this? Instead of giving the down payment five thousand, I give it zero. So submit. Okay, we see there's a new process being created. We click this process. We we'll see this is active. This process is actually in the correct data stage. So we we'll have a look at the diagram. Validate, retract, then actually there are some data errors. So instead of giving a 50,000 down payment, I put I purposely put zero 
So it will ask me to correct it instead of going through the rest of the process. So now, who can correct it? I myself can correct it. So I go to task inbox. So there's one way you go to task inbox from menu, task inbox. So there's a correct data task there. So I click it. So it's showing an arrow, say down payment cannot be zero greater than or equal to the property sales price. So this is a machine reasoning step, uh, automated rule-based reasoning. So you have already identified a problem. So let's claim to start working on the correction. So now I change to 50,000. So it's complete. Okay, no task found. So go to testing box, no task for me. I go to process instance again. I can see which stage of the process is. Yes, I will correct it. So it went through this regular mortgage calculation. It also went through the mortgage machine reasoning stage. And instead of allow, uh, asking ISS Barry to do a manual checking, now the in-limit verification has been done automatically by this mortgage machine reasoning step. Then it directly go to the final approval by ISS management. So in order to approve it, I need to log on as the ISS manager. Let's close this. Now I log out. I need to log in. So we have a few directors here. I will be using one director of our QMK ISMK. Our ISS director is one of the person who can approve. We define it in the ISS group approver, uh, ISS group manager. So again, you can see the manager has different entitlement. So they can see the process report, task report. Say for example, we see the task report. Yeah, there's one task ready. Yeah, one task ready, one task completed. The completed one is the correct, uh, correct data. So we can also see, have a look at process report. So we have one process, active process, which is initially started by SSN. Okay, see what things that I need to do. Final approval, yes. This require my final approval. So what it says is uh, there's address, uh, sales price, blah, 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 then in limit machine reasoning is checked. So that means the mortgage amount is within the limit which is smaller or equal to the property sales price so mortgage amount amount we have 200,000 200,000 the sales price is uh, 250,000 so 200 is lesser than 250 so the in limit mr has already been automatic checked so we don't need to bother ISS Barry, so Barry can focus on more value added, more complex intellectual work. Okay, final approval. So this is a place that we can say if we check it, yeah, this loan will be approved and uh, proceed further. So this is a human control. Yeah. Start. So the machine intelligence has suggested that so we can approve this one because everything is healthy in limit machine reasoning checked. So finally, the approval say, okay, let's go ahead to give the loan to Sam for Sam to buy a house. <laughs> okay, done, yeah. So let's have a look at the process report again. So completed the process. Let's go to process instance. There's no process instance active, so we check, see, completed. Yes, there's one completed. We have a look at process variables. In limit true, yes, it's set in limit true. 
document logs well this is the place that you can see logs and uh, diagram yes everything has been completed initially we correct data after correct data yeah the iss management has given a final approval so yeah we are done with that yeah we're done with that so we can log off log off okay we press f11 yeah to toggle between full screen and the non full screen toggle f11 so we close this window so this is the terminal we are no longer using we can either click exit or we can click this x so this one no use we don't want to save it close without saving and this one no use here is we use control c to stop the kie server control c so we're fine click this to shut down the virtual machine yeah shut down yeah the shutdown is should be pretty fast okay so we are back to our operating system and this is the end of the demo yeah thanks for watching